Hi friends, welcome back to Network Lab Room channel. To pick up today, I would like to show configuration step of hot standby router protocol XSRB in Cisco AT1. I think the unknown network engineer don't know about XSRB, right? It's very popular in network environment and it's a Cisco proprietary protocol. Uh, XSRB provides high network availability by providing first hop routing redundancy for IP host on network config together with a uh, default gateway IP address. In Cisco AD1, XSRB uh, is support from iOS XE version 17.7.1a and vManager version 20.7.1. Uh, support the future same line XSRB in traditional network. Uh, it supports XSRB version 2, authentication MD5, and static NAT redundancy. About my scenario, uh, today I'm using uh, the WZ, which one I'm using almost previous video, and I, I add one more router as size 102, and I'm about uh, config the XSRB between two router and use a VIB as gateway IP for user 102. After I finish configuration, I will test the file over by shutdown one of uplink at device one uh, and check ping from user 102. Uh, to the subnet at DC or subnet at latency side. About configuration, I has the prepare already uh, for save time, and you see the command is almost same in, in traditional network. I'm using uh, XSRB at the suffix VPN box three using version two, and uh, virtual IP is dog two five four. Timer I set hello is one second and whole timer is four second. Priority I set uh, 110. I will, will max this device is uh, 80 device and track uh, the uplink and minus uh, priority uh, 60. Uh, in this track, I include two track object uh, to track interface status using live protocol at uh, box one and box two. And in track click, I use the polling end. It means if one of um, interface is down, the track click uh, also uh, will be down. And uh, I'm used BRM delay minimum 5 seconds. This command help me uh, resolve the black hole traffic in the case if the router is uh, rebooting or dynamic routing protocol or stability uh, protocol needs time to cover it. And uh, the last one uh, is uh, authentication. This makes my configuration more secure. And the file 2 for device 2, and you see the command line is almost the same except the I set priority chart 90 because this device is standby. Okay, now let me copy this configuration and go to Cisco Catalyst 81 manager and bus configuration I need to go to configuration timeline feature timeline and find out the size 102 add on timeline This one, this one for the by one, and it's edit each. I will bat it here and update. Uh, because I had the CUI add on template already, so I don't need to make a new one, just the bat configuration and update. Then click next. Let me check the uh, command line. Of configuration. Okay, config different, side by side different, and interface gigabit three. This one and 
checklist check one check two and check 102 list bullion and okay confit divide and open the lock to check process Ok, template successfully attached to the device. I'm done at device 1. Let me copy configuration of device 2 and also go to templates, filter template, and find out the COI add on template for device 2. This one, edit and but I don't need the track at device 2 because device is standby so this is enough for device 2 and update uh, next no need check command line I think so config device directly and open locked Ok, template is successfully attached to device. Oh, let me go to the device 1 and device 2 and check the uh, standby status. Device 1 and so, so standby bridge. Device 1 is active. What happened? What happened might be device 1 is standby. Let me check the started up box at device 1. Same like this one and it is sorry. Uh, chain value and this one maybe I forgot enable the interface so device 1 is a standby device next configuration ok let me check one more time. Okay, you see 102 uh, list bowling and down to up and the access RB stay chain stand by to active. Okay, let me show again. Okay, now device 1 is the active device and standby is the 253. This is device 2. Let me check again. Yes, you can see a log file. SW side chain speak XT XT speak and chain to standby so admin and so standby bridge okay correct
variety 110 variety 90 okay let me open the user 102 and bring to the subnet at DC and subnet at legacy side to check connection pin 192.168.10.254 I okay can bin let me pin subnet at legacy side 10.10.107.254 okay also can be about the one might be I have not set IP for you so 107 yes so cannot be okay now uh, I will test forever by shut down uh, box gear bit 2 and my expectation device 2 will check the XT device okay go to the Templates and filter and divide template and edit uh, divide one template edit sorry change divide below I change uh, shut down uh, sorry uh, I will shut down gigabit Ethernet 1 not um, Gigabit Ethernet 2 and shut down and update let me ping minus T with 254 ok and next configuration Open console. May I would like to see lock. Okay, you see, uh, asset IP station from standby to XT at device 2. Oh, let me check whether traffic interrupt or not. Okay, maybe no. No inter interrupt traffic. Okay, let me show standby bridge again. Okay, now the device 2 is active and standby is uh, device 1, 252. Okay, let me show at device 1. So, check, check uh, some bridge. Okay, this one. Let me up. Okay, one. Uh, Check object down, so the checklist also will be down, and so standby bridge. Okay, priority minus now priority is the uh, 50, and stay is standby, and XT is the uh, 253. Okay, let ping again. Okay, still ping and. How about user DC subnet? Okay, still being. Okay, let me uh, enable the interface again, and my expectation device one will be uh, tech uh, XT rows. Device and device one templates change device value and edit fellow and uncheck shutdown 
updates next config device let's make pin minus t okay and open to check lock You see, uh, asset RB state chain uh, from standby to exit in device one, and also the checklist uh, one hundred and two from down to active. Okay, let me show the standby bridge and device one is active, and also device two. You see, state chain from uh, speak to active to speak and speak to standby. So standby risk again. Okay, variability 90 and variability now run back to 110. Okay, um, I think the configuration of asset RB instead of D1 is not complex. It's uh, almost same in the network, uh, traditional network. And until now, my configuration is uh, correct. So I should stop video here. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in next video. I hope um, get your like and your subscribe my channel. Uh, bye bye.